the Mississippi River winding its way through Grind City. Welcome from Memphis, Tennessee. Both teams taking the temperature of this series in Game 1. Now they know what to expect. Let's get going on Game 2 of the Western Conference Quarterfinals. With Grant Hill and Chris Weber, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce will be joining us as well. Allie, take it away. Hey, B.A., Carl Anthony Towns is in a new phase. He said, I've had the time to mess up and chase stats. That's over. I've proved myself in this league. But can I win? That is the next step. I have to do whatever it takes. There's only one way to change the narrative. That's to go beat the narrative. Guys? Good stuff, Allie. Thanks for that. Looking at the starting five for the Minnesota Timberwolves. D'Angelo Russell is out there with Patrick Beverly. Then there's Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's Carl Anthony Towns. And it's Edwards in a small forward. And for Memphis, Jackson Jr. and Adams together inside. Desmond Bain is out there with John ja Morant. And it's Brooks in at the small forward position. And the Grizzlies start out with the ball. And here's Morant. Brooks outside. Pass to Adams. From deep, Morant. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Beverly outside. High arcing shot. And he lays it up and in. And when Beverly gets these shots inside, he's just remarkably efficient. He just has tremendous touch on these shots. Morant, the pass to Adams. Here's Bain. Back to Adams. Up and over, Russell. Adams, shot's good. Nice way to start the game. That's where you'd like to get your shots from. Here's Russell. About a minute into this first quarter. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Oh, the strong defensive instincts. Jackson excels at recognizing when he uses his lift and go for the block. And the basket by Bain. Making a statement here early, going right to the rack. Oh, I love it. Great look. High percentage shot. That's the efficiency you're looking to establish. Here's Vanderbilt. Pass to Russell. There's the three. Nope, another miss. 0 for 2 to start the game. For Memphis, they've gone 2 of 3 to get this one going. And here's Adams. Brooks, the pass to Jackson. Outside Morant. Morant with the slam! Morant way, way up. Five. Russell pass to Towns. Brooks with the rebound. For Memphis, they've gone three of four to get things going. Here's Morant. There's the drive. And then Morant with the jam! Well, you see the burst. Morant very hard to catch once he gains a step. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Shots good by Towns. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. The Grizzlies have gone four or five so far. Looking sharp. Pass to Bain. Now here's Brooks. Fires the three. Towns with a rebound. Edwards, a pass to Beverly. Back to Edwards. And he converts the layup. Just phenomenal awareness by Beverly. Just dishing the ball to the wide open man. He's... Jackson outside. Adams, the pass to Moran. On the wing, Bain. Just five to shoot. Let's it fly. Morant, no good. Oh, you expect him to make those. They've got to do more to get a hand in his face next time. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? 
Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Here's Towns. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. That's the shot you hope for. Right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. Now Moran. Pass to Bain. From the arc. Good. And the center oh, high Moran. Bain's got five now. Oh, this is just being a good team. Moran making sure to rip the ball over to his open. Moran against Russell. Here's Vanderbilt, and it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Jackson. Russell against Moran. Doubled by Jackson. Four on the clock. The shot by Russell, no good. Man, and you never want to give a shooter like him a clean look. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Memphis. Well, they're just a team in sync right now. Their passing in the first half has been outstanding. Another positive has been their play in the paint offensively. First one at the line is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. But his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a cold streak. Here's Russell. Looking for his first basket still in this one. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. And he knows it too. He tried to get away with it. Sometimes you do. That time he did And here's Memphis now. They're on a 13-5 run. Now here's Moran. Pass to Brooks. Over Edwards. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. I love seeing Brooks take these quick shots. I mean, he's skilled at realizing when he has room to get them off. And Russell, here we go. Up to Beverly. Three-pointer. Another miss by Minnesota. Memphis has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Here's Moran. Drains it. Now he's three for five. And their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. For Minnesota, they've gone three of nine. Struggling so far. Beverly with it. Pass to Vanderbilt. Russell with the ball. Shoots from 14. Good on the bucket. Oh, they pay the price for giving Russell a mid-range look like that. I mean, that shot is well within his abilities. Russell against Moran. Driving to the basket. Towns with a rebound. The Timberwolves trail. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Pass to Edwards. Fires from deep. No good there. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Up top, Brooks. Over Edwards. And it's Brooks missing. And for the Timberwolves, they're shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. Russell with the ball. Jackson in his pocket. Russell, that's good. You're never sure what Russell's going to do on his drives. I mean, he's got handles. He can change direction. Very tough to defend. Exactly. And here's
Here's Moran. He's got six. Jackson, the pass to Brooks. Back to Jackson. Over Edwards. Pass to Bain. Now Morant. Brooks outside. Over Towns. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Now Russell to the inside. That's good from Towns on the assist by Russell. And now it's just a four-point Grizzly lead for Memphis. They've gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. Timeout called the Grizzlies. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Uh, yeah, they have to regroup it and revisit their strategy at the defensive end. Mark has checked in for Memphis. Anderson comes in for Jackson. McDaniels is checked in for the Timberwolves. Beasley comes in for Beverly. Morant, the pass to Anderson. Here he goes. Russell with the rebound. The Timberwolves have gone 6 of 13 so far in this one. And a miss there on the triple. The defense has done a good job of forcing him in tough shots this quarter. Pass to Bain. And here's Morant. And he lobs it up. Oh, Clark with the slam. Woo! I just love that alley -oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Beasley outside. Here's Edwards. Out to the wing. Left side, Russell. Back to Edwards. The three. That falls. Nice assist by Russell. Russell's got his third assist of the night. Oh, man. Tremendous pass by Russell. Great at whipping it around. Now here's Moran. Six points for him. And then Moran with the jam. And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge to the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. Here's McDaniels. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Russell against Moran. The shot by Russell, no good. You know what a kind of competitor he is? I know he's upset with his performance and with the score. Pass to Moran. Clark with it. Out to the right wing. Here's Anderson. He can't get it to go. And Minnesota will come the other way. Now Beasley. Down low. Here's McDaniels. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Russell against Moran. Brooks outside. On the wing, Brooks. Back to Anderson. Here's Bain. He's guarded by Beasley. Here's Clark. Oh! oh! He's trying to tear the hinges off the rim. I almost can't believe what I saw. Incredible. I'm speechless, man. I'm speechless. And Minnesota calls time here. Waffle, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Grizzlies. And that's a foolish pass. Plain and simple. Here's Morant. Give him eight points now. Outside, Anderson. Shot clock at six. Memphis needs to get off a shot. Got it. And now a seven-point Memphis lead. You guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if you're at 100% right now. Towns down low. Working on Clark. Here's an eight-footer. And that one's long. 
Memphis has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Good work defensively by Towns. It's a very aggressive defense to prevent the easy lay -in. And Edwards with the basket on the assist by Beasley. Edwards has gotten his third basket of the night. Now here's Moran. Pass to Bain. Now here's Clark. Covered by Towns. Outside Moran. On the strike. They get it back. Here's Clark. Up and in on the layup. Clark's got six. They have no answer defensively inside. The Timberwolves shooting about 47% during this first quarter. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. You know, the question is, do you leave him in? A third foul this early could spell trouble. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Melton comes in for Brooks. And it's Jones in for Ja Morant. There's 57 seconds left to play in the first. Here's Jones. No good with the triple. The Timberwolves trail. Beasley outside. And another shot. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And good whistle there. That free throw no good and the Grizzlies with some changes Brooks, he's checked in for Bain. And it's Ja Morant in for Jones. He hits the second from the line. 36 seconds left in the opening quarter. Passes to Clark. Outside Morant. Back to Clark. Morant with it. Give him eight points now. Five on the clock. And that basket makes him five for ten. Steady production so far. Uh, just to make him a little more unstoppable, Morant's developed a deadly touch. Here's Towns. All alone. The shot misses. No defender in sight. He tries to take initiative, but ultimately comes away empty-handed. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies, up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And the fourth pick in 2018, Jaron Jackson Jr., the rare NBA-ready defender, he talked about where he can make the most impact. Uh, probably be more of a backline help, um, talk more, give more help for the rotations because, you know, depending on what team you play, there's a lot of specific things you got to do to guard a certain player. A veteran's understanding of help and positioning, Grant. Yeah, I love that defensive mind approach. That's why they're a team to be reckoned with. And let's get you back to the action as game two is getting underway. What stands out to you from the Grizzlies in this one? You can really see the strategy coming in. Get the ball into the painted area. Those two approach. I mean, if you have a favorable matchup inside, just keep pounding it in there. Anderson and Jackson Jr., your small and power forwards. Tyus Jones is out there with Desmond Bain. And it's Adams in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. The Timberwolves shooting 41% in this game. And he banks in the layup. Beverly's got his second basket of the game. Oh, and check out the handles of Beverly just coasting by the D thanks to his quick moves. 
Outside Jones. Pass to Jackson. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Defense is aggressive on them. You're giving up that much height. There's only so much you can do. Russell to pass to Reed. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. And the basket by Bain. And now it's a 10-point Grizzly lead. Transition basketball. The most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. Count the basket. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Now Jones. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Back to Payne. Pass to Jackson. Here's Jones. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. And the Grizzlies lead by 11. For Minnesota, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. To the paint. Ed Beverly gets it to go. Hey, Beverly's got six. Even when contact comes Beverly's way. I mean, he's a pro at finishing. Absorbing it so well on these shots. Back to Jones. Pass to Jackson. Now here's Jones. Outside, Anderson. Back to Jones. Jackson with it. Shot clock at five. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. And here's Russell. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Here's Anderson. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. With the long frame and adequate strength. I mean, Anderson, he one-ups the defender on that shot. Pass to Reed. Now Beasley. Back to Reed. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Here's Jones. Back to Jackson. Stolen by Russell. Here's Beasley. Shots blocked. And, and blocks like this fire Anderson up. We should turn get his teammates going his way. The Grizzlies have gone four for six here in the second. Here's Bain. He's got nine. Pass to Anderson. Over Beasley. Anderson can't get it to go. Timberwolves shooting a solid 50% throughout the second. Russell from outside. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got five rebounds tonight. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. Outside, Anderson. Now Jackson. Reed defending. Outside, Jones. Here's the three. It doesn't go for him. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. You know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from the inside. Pass to Jackson. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. Young player Jackson has a solid understanding of the game. I mean, he guides him in the pick and roll. Now a timeout called by Minnesota. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. Out of question. They're giving up too many high percentage looks at you. They'd like to reverse. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Towns has checked in. Here's Beasley. And he dumps it down. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Pass to Bain. Here's Jackson. Here's Bain. He's got nine. Jackson outside. Anderson for three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Towns has got five rebounds in the game. 
he'll breathe a big sigh of relief if they hang on to win this game. He's not done much to contribute to it. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. They needed that, and I love that he just didn't settle for the lay-in. Timeout call, Memphis. The Grizzlies making the switch here. Brooks has checked in. Here's Jones, inside. From behind the arc, Dylan Brooks. That was good. Brooks has got five now. Well, most of Brooks' shots come from beyond the arc, and there's good reason. He's an effective three-point shot. Outside Russell. Pass to Towns. And it's powered oh, home by man. Towns. With a strong finish to cut into that lead a little. Man, left no doubt with that one, Grant. Brooks outside. From outside the arc. And again, it's Memphis for the three. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Minnesota's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's Towns. Adams covering. Towns down low. Adams is there. Towns gets the bucket. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Here's Jones. Brooks outside. Jackson outside. Yes, it's good. Jackson's got six points in the quarter. That's just incredible control from Jackson. He's someone that has no problem overcoming physical defense like this. It's Beasley on the wing. Brooks defending. Beasley, that's good. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Memphis leading. Pass to Bain. Brooks outside. Here's Bain. Beverly defending. Outside Jones. Adams with the ball. Just five on the clock. Back to Jones. 20 feet out. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Beasley outside. Sends it right off the glass. Towns. Tries yet again. Now here's Jackson. Six points for him. Jones with the ball. To the middle. And the dunk by Jackson. This is the power Jackson possesses. Ability to slam it down. Given the opportunity. The Timberwolves trail. Minnesota calls time here. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's the most subtle move that they can make it A big group substitution here for Memphis. Clark is checked in for Adams. Anderson comes in for Jackson. Melton, he's checked in for Bain. And it's Morant in for Jones. Pass to Towns. The rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Clark's got five rebounds tonight. Memphis has got three of five to fall from beyond the three-point line in the second. Yep, that one goes. Moran's got 12 points. Well, when you have a guy like Morant, an elite ball handler who can hit from anywhere, there's no real limit to the points in this score. Ooh, Beasley has an open look. That one's good. And it's Towns with the assist. He's finally coming around, trying to make up for that goose egg he put up in the first quarter. Outside Moran. Pass to Anderson. And here's Melton. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Brooks, the pass to Moran. From deep, Melton. McDaniels with the rebound. Minnesota's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. To the inside. Oh, got that one up quick. 
And Memphis shooting around 53%. A nice number. Brooks outside. Pass to Moran. Inside, here's Anderson, and it's seven attempts, he's drained three. I like seeing Anderson look to capitalize on there, showing that nice soft touch on that shot. Here's McLaughlin, downs with the ball, pounded by Moran. Shot from 12, doesn't go that time. Towns is gone, four of 12 shooting from the field. Left side, Moran. Melton outside. Brooks outside. Oh, they get a hand on it. Here's McLaughlin. Towns down low. Brooks defending. And it's Towns with the power finish. Oh, the whole arena felt packed can just be merciless on offense. Now Melton. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. And he comes up with a bucket. If you give him any sort of space, he's gonna attack. 105 left of the half. Outside Edwards. Good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. Edwards got nine. Uh, straight up effort gets him those points. That's what it's all about on the offensive class. Timeout call, Memphis. Moran. 12 points for him. 43 seconds left in the second. Yep, that one's good. Very consistent tonight at the offensive end. Right there, he helps fuel the fire. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Towns. Outside Edwards. Launches a three. Ooh, coming through again. Shooting five for seven now. This is who Towns is, an unselfish, versatile big man with great court awareness. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Clark against Towns. Brooks outside. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep, Melton. Towns with a rebound. Here's McLaughlin, and so it's the Memphis Grizzlies leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Getting lots of great looks, shooting it well, that's why they're up. Back to the game after this break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. For the Grizzlies, after falling into a 1-0 hole to start the series, they look to be getting back on the right track here tonight. And it's crucial that they do hold on to this halftime lead because falling behind 2-0 would leave them with a very steep build to climb. Kenny, what do you think about the Grizzlies? It's great to see a team going inside, challenging the defense in the paint. You don't see that mentality as often in today's game. So much is perimeter. Guys want to stay on the outside. They don't want to get sweat equity. Chat, what do you think about Minnesota? Well, I thought the one bright spot was the effort on the glass. Several times when momentum was sliding, getting the time to rebound really lifted them. The strong work on the glass is key because that's how you string together a series of big stops. Joining us again for round one of the NBA playoffs. 
Oh, a fantastic game from Ja Moran in this one. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And, and as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? You keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. For the Timberwolves, they're shooting at a respectable 49%. Kicking off the second half, here's Chris Finch's five. Jared Vanderbilt out there with Carl Anthony Towns. Then there's Edwards. Then it's Patrick Beverly. And it's Russell in at the one. Memphis leading. Morant with it. Outside for Brooks. Outside Morant. From deep, Payne. They get it back. Second chance effort. Here's Jackson. Oh, three chances on that possession, but they just can't find a way to score. Coming out stone cold here. Sometimes the break will do that too. Offensive board. Beverly outside. Pass to Towns. Just four to shoot. Here's Edwards. That's it. Coming off an assist from Towns. Towns has got three assists now in this one. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Moran against Russell. Here's Bain. Now here's Adams. Pass to Moran. Now Brooks. Shot clock at three. Jackson, the pass to Brooks. And the three off target. This was not what they had in mind coming out of the locker room at halftime. Four shots so far, and nothing to show. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Memphis has gone 0 for 2 from outside here on the third. Pass to Adams. Jackson on the wing. Outside Morant. Drops in the layup for two. Morant's got 16. I mean, just an agile move by Morant down low. Working around the contact and getting it to go. Morant against Russell. Here's Vanderbilt. To the paint. Towns gets the bucket. 13 points in the game. What a beast inside. When Towns gets in tight, he's almost a sure thing. Timeout call, Memphis. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. Now that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. Here's Morant. And he can't get that one. And Minnesota will come the other way. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Back to Edwards. For the lead. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got six assists now in the game. Brooks outside. Pass to Adams. Morant with it. And here's Jackson. Back to Morant. Brooks outside. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. The Timberwolves have gone four of six from the floor in this third quarter. Shot from 12. Edwards can't hit. Memphis trailing here. Here's Morant with the drive. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. Takes off like a rocket. I mean, there's a suddenness to Morant's game that most athletes don't have. And the Timberwolves call time here. Well, you got to like what Ja Morant has done in this game. Oh, yeah, no question what they'll be talking about in this timeout. They need to figure out some way to slow him down. Beasley's checked in for Beverly. Timberwolves substitution, Malik Beasley. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Outside Edwards. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Outside Morant. And 
And some solid defense from Towns. Down low. Here's Vanderbilt. Oh, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and a nasty jam. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this tight? And it's Brooks missing. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. The offensive rebound. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Memphis has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Pass to Moran. Now here's Jackson. Back to Moran. Five to shoot. Sweet little floater. Moran's got 20 points. He's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Russell against Moran. It's scooped up! That's size winning out. I mean, he needed every single inch to haul in that one. Brooks outside. Let's the three fly. Minnesota with a rebound. Edwards got four rebounds in the game. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Last thing they want to be doing right now is giving away possessions. I mean, turnovers can kill you in this kind of game. Melton, he's checked in for Brooks. Well, the Grizzlies shooting the ball at 48% so far. Jackson outside. Over to the left wing. Pass to Bain. This one for three. Good. And the center by Moran. Bain's got 12 points. Oh, don't forget about this fella for a second. He is the definition. Moran against Russell. Now for three. Knocks down the long J. He's got 16. And that gives him two three-pointers for the game. One in each half. I mean, he may add to that total pretty soon. Adams high post. Here's Bain. He's got 12. Back to Adams. Pass to Bain. Here's Melton. Here's Adams. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Adams has got his second basket of the night. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Russell against Moran. Russell, that's good. Oh, the soft touch on the floater. Gotta like when Russell burst out the lethal floating shot. Here's Moran, driving inside. Soft touch off the glass. Moran's got 22. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. He's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Here's Vanderbilt, and he makes it. Vanderbilt's got six here in the quarter. Oh, I love it. He's working the ball down low. Always a good plan of attack. Here's Moran. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And the Grizzlies lead by three. And force feeding the ball inside. No reason to go away from what's working. And here's Beasley. Ten points for him. Grabs the miss. Adams has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Melton finds Moran. And slammed it home. And the foul. A chance at another point at the line. It's on Anthony Edwards. That's a high-level finish from the ring. Showing more strength. And he's really giving credit. And now we get a little perspective here on how the hustle game has been for the Grizzlies. All those block shots, that's a clear indicator of the great D they've been playing. Not giving them an inch of space out there. I'll tell you something else. The points they've scored on the fast break tonight have been a major factor. The free throw drops for Moran. You know Ja Moran's such a dynamic 
guard. His combination of speed and creativity makes for some tough matchups. To the paint. Oh, got a piece of it. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. And now the Grizzlies on the run. Here's Melton. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got six assists here tonight. Oh, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. Here's Reed. That one a little long. And that's a low percentage shot. And I'm sure he knows it. Yeah, that's not his spot. Plain and simple. He's trying to force something rarely a good idea. Pass to Adams. Here's Clark. Outside, Anderson. Six to shoot. Puts it up from the high post. They grab their own miss. Out of bounds. It'll be Timberwolves ball. Minnesota ball. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. Jones, he's checked in for Memphis. Carl Anthony Towns has checked in for the Timberwolves. Beasley comes in for Vanderbilt. Minnesota's gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Beasley outside. Pass to Towns. Here's McLaughlin. And again, another missed shot. Outside Jones. And so it looks like the Grizzlies will retain possession here. Fade, he's checked in for Memphis. Ja Morant comes in for Jones. Ja Morant! Melton. Back to Morant. Six on the shot clock. Here's Anderson. And he gets the bucket. Anderson's got eight points. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make the play. Interesting, <laughs> yeah. Pouring it on right here. He's trying to give the opposition no luck at the end of the time. Beasley outside. Town. 16 points for him. Oh, stolen by Moran. Pass to Clark. To the wing, right side. Anderson for three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. This is what his team likes seeing. They want Anderson to keep taking these kinds of shots. Here's Beasley. Off the mark, and the drought continues. It's obvious they're becoming frustrated. Nothing seems to be going their way. It's something that happens to every team. You just have to ride it out, play your hardest, and live with yourselves. On the wing, Bain. Back to Moran. Pass to Melton. Down to five on the shot clock. Shot from the low block. No problem from Clark as he finishes at the rim. Give him eight. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. 119 left to play in the third quarter. Here's McLaughlin. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Man, the defender really went after him. At the line for the Timberwolves, Jordan McLaughlin taking two shots. And falls for him. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Jones is checked in. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Prince is checked in for Edwards. That 
misses, so he splits the free throws. Memphis has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Melton outside. And he's going for the oop here. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Towns. He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. And you can tell he feels he should have had it still. The hustle was impressive. Left side Jones, fires for three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. They still have time to make this a game. But they really need to focus in because they let this game get away from them a little bit. And the basket is good. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half. Getting away from taking a bunch of threes. Melton outside. 34 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Here's McLaughlin. Inside. And it's going to be a three-second call. That's a costly error. Now let's see how they bounce back. Man, when you're playing from behind, that's the last thing you want to do. Make matters worse. And here's Memphis. They're on an 18-7 run. Beasley against Melton. Here's Anderson. McDaniels with the rebound. Here's McLaughlin from deep. The shot won't fall. Ja Moran, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Memphis. 27 on the night. He's had it his way. We'll be back in a moment. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. He's always near the top of the list for this honor. I mean, passes like these are his specialty. Control the pace. Get it to the right guy at the right time. These requirements top the list if you're a good point guard. Great to have you with us again as we return to our coverage of round one. Dylan Brooks is out there with Kyle Anderson. Then there's DeAnthony Melton. Then there's Tyus Jones. And it's Clark in at the center. That's the lineup out there for the Grizzlies. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Oh, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. They get the rebound. There's the block. Pass to Brooks. Outside, Anderson. Clark, the pass to Brooks. Back to Clark. Launches it. And it's Brooks missing. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. Yeah, he just hit a rough patch. He's trying to climb out of it, but he hasn't been successful. No, he just caught the defense napping. He shoots a very high percentage from three-point range when there's no hand in his face. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Anderson passes to Clark. Oh! oh this this. And that one is hammered home! Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo, what a tough PA. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. Matched up! Pass to Prince. Back to Reed. And here's Beverly. Shoots over Melton. And it comes off the front of the rim. Now here's Jones. Now here's Brooks. Three-pointer. That one no good. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. And it's Beverly on the drive. And he makes it on the layup. Hey, Beverly's got five points in the quarter. He's trying to will this team back into it. Doing all he can offensively. Pass to Brooks. 
Outside, Anderson. Brooks, right side. Melton with the ball. Now guarded by Beverly. It's scooped up. Anderson, up and in from the low block. And the Grizzlies lead by 13. Because of Anderson's height and instincts, he's a force on the offensive glass. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth. Melton on the double. To the inside. And hook it for Vanderbilt. You have to be accurate there. Very little room for error passing on the interior. Outside, Anderson. Melton outside. Pass to Jones. Now Melton. Beverly defending. Three-pointer, Brooks. Reed with the rebound. Reed's got four rebounds now. Can't quite find his three-point touch in the second half yet. He, I mean, he had two in the first half, but still none since the break. Beverly, left side. The 11-footer. That's his first personal foul. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Adams comes in for Clark. And it's Jaron Jackson in for Anderson. Russell's checked in for the Timberwolves. Memphis has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Brooks the pass to Jackson. Back to Brooks. Yes! And a nice assist from Jackson. And sometimes it seems Brooks is better at scoring like this. I mean, he enjoys overcoming challenges. Pass to Prince. Here's Vanderbilt, defended by Jackson. Russell with the ball. Now Beverly. Wing shot on the way. And it's off the back of the rim, no good. The Grizzlies have got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Here's Brooks. And here's Jackson. Stolen by Russell. Beverly outside. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Beverly's got seven points for the quarter. Oh, the movement off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit him in stride is even better. Brooks outside. Pass to Jones. Brooks outside. From deep, Melton. Fires in the triple. And the Grizzlies lead by 14. Once he turned it on, he became a force in this game. Not sure what this guy was in the first half. Here's Russell. Reed. Nice persistence to tip it back in. I love his work ethic, not to mention his hands. You need both to convert those tip -ins. Now here's Brooks. Jackson, pass to Melton. Back to Jackson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. You gotta do more than that to stop Jackson. He takes pleasure in outworking the defense. Outside Russell, pass to Reed, takes the three. It's not gonna go for him. Now Memphis takes it the other way. To the middle. Outside Jones, on the wing Brooks, lets it fly. Russell with the rebound. Minnesota has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Here's Prince, wide open look. Hits the rim on the way in and the bucket is good. I mean, this is what you pay Russell to do. He can pass it as well as score it. He's really settled in as a decision. Now here's Jones, guarded by Russell. Brooks from outside, out of bounds. The Timberwolves will take it. Yeah, he loses concentration just for a moment. Might be getting a little complacent sitting on this lead. Morant, he's checked in for Jones. Carl Anthony Towns has checked in for the Timberwolves. Anthony Edwards comes in for Prince. And it's Russell on the drive. Two points. That one goes. Sweet handles from Dean Lowe. Good luck checking the lefty anywhere on the floor. 
The Grizzlies have gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Russell against Moran. Pass to Brooks. Over Edwards. And another miss by Memphis. For Minnesota, they've gone 7 for 15 in the fourth. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Uh, who knows what this score would look like if he wasn't on his game tonight. Melton with the ball. Now guarded by Beverly. Fast break, Minnesota. It's rebounded by Memphis. Adams has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Pass to Jackson. Outside Moran. On the take. Yeah. That's how you feel. Oh. Okay. Man, he's got some hops. Moran loves to attack the rim when he gets the chance. Any chance. Bain, he's checked in for Memphis. At the line for Memphis, John Moran. One shot. Free throw drops for Moran. Minnesota's gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Pass to Towns. Outside Edwards. Russell with the ball. There's the triple. The rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got seven rebounds in the game. Moran against Russell. Moran, the pass to Jackson. Outside for Brooks. Over Edwards. The die for the ball. And it's Brooks missing. This has not been his best quarter. Oh, just off his game. Forcing a few shots. Not letting the game come to him naturally. Moran with it. Pass to Adams. Back to Moran. Brooks from outside. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got his seventh assist here tonight. His first three of the half. That gives him nine total points from beyond the arc so far. Moran against Russell. And then Russell with the dunk. Ooh, bouncy. That should give him a nice lift. Good timing. They needed that one. Hey, guys, you think he was sending a message on that one? He doesn't like losing. Jackson with it. Working on Vanderbilt. Clock at six. Here's Moran. Banked it in off the glass. Moran's got 18 points in just the second half. And with the game he's having, there's no doubt he'll be the guy they lean on to protect the lead. Minnesota calls timeout. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Ja Moran. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch, but just a tremendous motor. And he's making an impact on every single possession. And look at him. He think it's just another game. He is totally in control of his emotions. Yeah, they were on thin ice in this series. He knew it, and he went out there and did something about it. He wasn't about to let them go into a 3-1 hole. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. I was able to listen in on what Chris Finch was going over with his team. He really got into them, saying, quote, you guys aren't playing hard enough. Forget the X's and O's. We need to play with passion. Let's just see that for the last part of this game guys. All right, appreciate it, Ali. And here's Moran. Pass to Bain. Now here's Moran. Now Brooks. Jackson on the wing. Outside Moran. Three-pointer, Brooks. And 
again. It's the Grizzlies from deep. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. Yeah, I mean, that's not a guy you can leave alone. Not if you have any hope of closing the gap. Towns has got room. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. You've got to move past that one. I mean, they want him to take that again. But you're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. Brooks outside. Back to Jackson. Pass to Adams. It's Jackson outside. Puts up a three. And it's rebounded by Carl Anthony Towns. Towns has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. So that's the end of game two. No question, this is a big win for the Grizzlies. Their shot blocking was a huge advantage in this game. Yeah, I love the excellent defense in the paint. It led to a lot of key stops. And this team has to feel great. Nodding up this series at 1-1. A huge win for them. Avoiding going down 2-0. And this series is on. And one player just stole the show tonight. Doing everything for his team. A monster night for Ja Moran. A quality offensive outing. When you get it going like he did, I'll tell you, it's one of the best feelings in basketball. Russell, that's good. I mean, the shot selection of Russell improving. Focusing on taking better, more efficient shots within the offensive game plan. Moran against Russell. Now here's Moran. Guarded closely. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. It's going to be on Carl Anthony Towns. At the line for your Grizzlies, John Moran. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth. Now Edwards. Lays it up and banks it in. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. Here's Morant. So it's the Grizzlies taking care of business in this one. It might have been just game two of the series, but this one felt like a must win. I just love the fire they played with tonight. It's the playoffs, and they really brought the energy. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Jaron, you've shown yourself to be an impact player at both ends of the floor. But is defense where it starts? Yeah, you know, the talking keeps me active, just being able to move my feet, being able to stay low on defense, you know, all those things keep me engaged. And when you do those things, you can make a big impact as the anchor of the team. And, you know, everybody else, they take pride in defense. So if I'm working with everybody else, it's great. Thanks, Darren. Congrats on your success.